Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns and this is going to be for the week of the 16th through the 21st of October 2023. I will be using my Angel Tarot cards and to clarify I'll be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you Capricorn. Now I did retire my old deck. Um my ain my my other angel tarot deck she was getting kind of difficult to shuffle so let's see So Capricorn, this is for you. The nine of air, expecting the worst. Call self-fulfilling prophecy. Stop doing that to yourself. Okay? You're having sleepless nights because of it. Stop worrying now. This is past energy, okay? This is some negative thoughts. Stop it. The three of fire, abundance. Things are starting to look good. Or things look good. Very good. You just need to have some patience. Have patience with you. But you can go ahead and make your long-term plans. And you got the five of water. Things not turning out the way you'd hope. That's because you're not seeing the positive in the situation. You're crying over spilt milk. And the eight of earth. You're working passionately in something. You're very good at whatever it is that you're doing. And you're really working on it hard. The eight of water. You have the desire to move on because you're searching for something more meaningful. Maybe this is spiritual and, and emotional growth. And life experience, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that will lead to change. It's time to spread your wings. And we have the page of air. Challenging information is received, okay? They're going to have some delays to your plans. All right? And the truth is going to be delivered without tact. So somebody's going to tell you something and they're not going to be very nice about it. But listen, it's best to know now than later, okay? The three of earth, some kind of collaboration or teamwork being built. The power of creativity. You're being a team player. And you have the four of water. You're missing an opportunity because you're self-absorbed in something else, okay? Something else has your attention and you're missing some opportunities here. Um, you need to open your eyes to the possibilities around you. you got the four of water. And then let's see. we got the nine of air. So on top of the nine of air, you have the world card. Something was accomplished successfully, some kind of celebration and completion for something. And here you are, the king of earth. That could be you, Capricorn, or that could be another earth energy. of uh, It could be a Virgo or a Taurus, but I say this is you. You're very prosperous and generous and extremely successful. But there's some kind of um, conflict around you, some kind of mistake you might have made, so maybe some little drama unfolding. Now, this is the past, okay? You just got to reassess the facts, okay? So you got the world, you got the king of earth, which is you, and you got the five of air, which is some conflict, all right? And this is and this is above expecting the worst, okay? And then you got the three of fire, abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. 
The six of earth, balanced financially. The two of earth, I would say more balanced. You just got to prioritize things and maybe you need to be a little bit more playful. The knight of water here, this is something romantic, something dramatic and romantic in the past here for you. I don't know exactly, only you know. You got the six of earth, you got the two of earth, and you got the knight of water above the three of fire. Okay, above abundance. And then you got the five of water. Things not turning out the way you had hoped. That's because you're not seeing the positive in the situation. You're crying over spilt milk. Or maybe you just accepted it. <clears throat> it has something to do with the lovers. Um, relationship, emotion, choices. You, you should. You need to use your intuition here. I got the lovers, I got the high priestess, and I got the seven of fire. There were some challenges, but you were very determined uh, to go after, face whatever it was head on, you know? So you got the lovers, you got the high priestess, and you got the seven of fire above the five of water. You need to use your intuition, did you? So you got the eight of earth here, you're working passionately in something. You might be thinking about a whole new area of study. I'm not sure. Only you know you got the five of earth here. Why you have the mindset of lack? What you worried about? Don't worry, okay? You're worrying unnecessary. This here is it's just a, it's temporary, all right? You feel like you don't have, but you need to look around and see all that you do have. You got the ten of air here. There's some kind of ending, okay? But things are starting to get better. There are endings and there's recovery. In, recovery. Okay, you're going to recover. And you're going to feel a sense of freedom. And the ten of earth, prosperity, security, happy family, having enough to take care of your family. So you have a mindset of lack for some reason. Um, I don't know, maybe you're not seeing whatever it is that you want to see right away. Just be patient, okay? Um, there's going to be something ending, but things are starting to get better, no matter there is an ending, all right? And you got the ten of earth coming into some money. Having enough to look after your family, prosperity, security, domestic love, and the aid of water. Regardless of all of that, you still want to move on. You got a desire to move on. You're searching for something more. You got the empress here. You got the aid of water and you got the five of fire. The empress is about creation, abundance, and it's about lavish abundance. And it's about you needing to take action. We got the aid of water here. Mm. You got the eight of water here. This is about searching for something, um, searching for something, something more fulfilling. Okay, so you got the um, the eight of water on top of the eight of water. I knew I saw that card. I was looking for it. Um, you really, really want to move on. You really want to move on from your situation. There's a lot of conflict here. It could be conflict, conflict within. Okay, or conflict in your environment, but there are annoyances all around you. You got the Empress, you got the Eight of Cups, and you got the Five of Fire. You still have a desire to move on. The Eight of Water, that is. Ha! <laughs> then you got the Life Experience card here. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Ooh, remember to open your heart no matter what, okay? Do things with love. You got the king of fire. This could be with the fire energy. This could be with the Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. There's the release card. There's an ending and a, be a new beginning for you. There's some kind of freedom. There's freedom. Freedom is coming. You're going to have a sense of freedom. I got the ten of air over here. You're going to have a sense of freedom. Or freedom is on its way for you. You got the eight of air. You're still doubting yourself. You ain't too sure about this. Okay, you're a little confused, but you got free will. It's totally up to you what you do. Uh, you got choices. Never forget you got choices. But this could be with a fire energy. Um, there's going to be some kind of ending and a new beginning. But you have, you, you're, you're wondering, you're thinking, am I doing the right thing? You know, you're doubting yourself. You're, you're very confused. So you got the king, of, um, the king of fire. You got the release card. And you got the eight of air. <laughs> then you got the page of air you're going to receive some challenging information you're going to have some delays to your plans it could be because you're doubting yourself 
um, that's like negative energy. So if you're going to give that off, then there are going to be things that are going to be put in your way that's going to keep delaying you, okay? So the queen of water here, this could be a, um, a water energy here. There's some delays to this, to, to going, you're going to have some delays moving towards this energy here, this queen of water. Now the queen of water, remember these cards don't have no sex or anything like that. They're not neither masculine or feminine, feminine. They do have energies, you know. So anyway, the queen of water, it could be um, a gem, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, it's a very loving and giving um, energy or it could just be saying that that's your um that's how you feel and that you have a gift and you need to start listening to it like your intuition. Okay, and the sun is happiness. This energy gives you happiness. And there you are, the queen of earth, uh, Capricorn. So you got the queen of water, you got the sun, and you got the queen of earth. You know how to manage the money as well. But there is something with this energy, this, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that brings you a lot of happiness here. Brings you some happiness. And you got the three of earth here. <laughs> hmm. You got the four of fire, prosperity, contentment, and celebration. Okay, but at the same time, although you feel all these things, remember you got some doubt lingering here. You got the ego card here. The ego card is the equivalent to the, to the devil card, If you know. Um, this could be something unhealthy in your environment, okay? Um, something that you don't want to let go of. Something that is really not healthy for you. Oh. But what? Might have something to do with... I don't know. I really don't know if it has something else to do with another energy. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you're thinking about communicating with something, somebody, but it's not a good idea. Maybe you shouldn't. But the ego card is negative stuff that's in your environment. And maybe you're going to clear it away. The queen of um, air can also mean that you're clearing away all things that no longer serve you. Okay, so maybe that's how we're going to put it. Whatever negative thing here is that's stopping or blocking your happiness in your community and in your family, we're going to clear it away. You are clearing away all that no longer serves you. We just changed that. You see? The four of fire, the ego, and the queen of air. Then we got the four of water here. The four of water. You got the three of fire, you got the nine of earth, and you got the page of earth. You're going to receive some good news. It's going to be about money probably. You might be going on a trip. But you see, you're going after your goals. No matter what, you are going after them. Ain't nothing stopping you. You might have a little doubt here or there. But nothing's stopping you really and truly, right? You got the three of fire, you got the nine of earth, and you got the page of earth. You're preparing too, or you are prepared. Three of fire, the nine of earth, and the page of earth. And then we got the ace of water. This is about abundance. Could be abundance of love. Could be new love. Something to do with relationships. And maybe you just need to use your intuition, baby. All in all, it's not bad. You're doubting yourself. I have a feeling you want to move on from something, but you're kind of worried about doing that. I think you want to move towards a new energy here. But again, you kind of like doubting things. You're not sure if this is the right thing to do. The only person that can answer that baby is you. All right? And to do that, you need to just go quiet and just relax. Okay? Just relax. And you will be able to find it. The answer is that. I love you and I'll chat with you soon. Yo, my bird got quiet too. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll chat with you soon. <laughs> Bye.